The new kids count data has been released and Tennessee is still pretty much where we have been for years. We go up a little and down a little, but we are not making any real progress. How can Tennessee get out of the bottom half? The kids count index is based on indicators in four areas, health, education, economic well-being, and family and community. Establishing the conditions that promote successful educational achievement for children begins with quality prenatal care and continues into the early elementary school years. With a strong and healthy beginning, children can more easily stay on track to remain in school, graduate, and successfully transition to adulthood. Tennessee's strongest showing in the education domain is the rate of high school students graduating on time, where the state's requirement that teens attend school until age 18 helped Tennessee rank 25th which is already out of the bottom half. We have seen big improvements in fourth grade reading and eighth grade math scores over the last several years, but Tennessee still ranks in the 30s. Proficiency is measured on a national exam. Tennessee needed 2,200 more fourth grade and 3,000 more eighth grade students to pass for the state to get out of the bottom half. That's about two more students passing in each of the state's elementary schools and 10 more in each middle school. Tennessee's lowest education rank, and the only education measure that has not improved in recent years, is the percent of three and four-year-olds who attend school. Recent efforts in voluntary pre-K are focused on achieving consistent quality across programs, but the state needs to provide safe, nurturing, developmentally appropriate care to 8,500 more of these young scholars to get out of the bottom half. That's 425 new quality pre-K classrooms. Good public policy can improve the lives of Tennessee children and make the state a healthier, safer place for families to thrive. Find out more about policies and programs that support children and families on our website or visit us on Facebook or Twitter.